Welcome back. Here we go again. So last time we saw we solved the problems about creating tables in case we need to drop them sometime in the future and change something and how we can actually solve that problem by creating a script and, and using all the DDL options that we have here for example for alter a table we, we learn how we could actually alter a table and drop a constraint without having errors or drop a table without having errors or things like that um, hopefully you got that part and that is actually very important as I said in one of the tutorials that's gonna save you a lot of time when it comes to redo something especially because sometimes if you have to drop all the tables and you don't have a script and you have to create all again that could be painful um, with that done let's just take a look at our database diagram and see what we have there I guess we don't have anything here at this point so let me just start adding and see if now it's going to show me the constraints that I had the foreign key constraints so as we done before that's exactly what we want We're, we want registration to be referencing student primary key and the subject primary key as foreign keys for the registration I think at this point we probably done with SQL Server SQL Server um, uh, I'm gonna close this right now make sure I have all saved I don't want that part uh, actually it's all saved it should be oh it's all saved it seems like uh, if I do some tests here for example select something I won't be able to select anything because I don't have anything here or uh, for subject or for any of them so I don't have anything I could also create a script that would be adding information here so I can lay, lay, uh, later on test it uh, and that's what I'm gonna be doing now let me just get the new query here I have that C query here already um, let me just get a couple names in here just gonna get part of it so let me do here a new query right here new query put that in here well where is my insert oh here we go so if I run this query now that was for students so if I see here select top I'm gonna see those guys that I just added uh, I'm gonna use that just to test it sometime later in, in Visual Studio whenever I'm developing the application so let's just I'll save, well I don't want to save that query with that uh, script I already have saved it I'm just gonna close it right here no I don't need that right now I'm going op open Visual Studio and what we're gonna be doing here now is creating a product the project Let's you just go come here to file new let's say project and what we want to do is create a C sharp WPF application. Let's give a name to that. Let's just call that school. Since I already have school system right there, I'm just gonna call that school doing okay all right that's all I have here right now it's always good to organize a little better whenever we're doing something it already created for me one one window and I'm, I'm gonna make that the main window uh, but before we start dealing with WPF I want to create a couple other projects here actually let me see I'll just create one more I'm gonna call that one business so let me put here add new project uh, it's gonna be a WPF as well just gonna call business and I'm gonna call that business because that's the place where I'm gonna be creating the classes that's gonna be doing the queries for me that's gonna be adding all the information I need um, 
this one here, this cool one, I think that should actually be uh, a view. But let's just skip school. That's okay. Um, one thing I want to do is deal with namespaces now. Uh, if we come, if you come here, uh, well, right now, let me do this. Let me actually add a class now. So let me go back here so you see what I'm doing. I came to business. I'm adding a class, new item. Let's go. Come on. So just a class. I'm going to call that admin. Admin. That's going to be my administration class. So let's put here add. And if we open that, we're going to say that the name is space that is using is business. Um, that's great for me right now. But since I'm going to be calling this class here in the school, which is in a different project, it's in the same solution. You got to understand the difference between solution and project. It's in the same solution, but it's in a different project. So it's not visible. The business class or the business uh, project is not visible for school unless I come here to property. So he is showing me all the the libraries or the APIs that he's using, just like this. The business one is using those guys, while the school one is using those guys. Um, and how I can see that actually is if I come here to Window One, you see that's all that he's using. So I want to add that property or the reference right here. So if I come here to reference, add reference. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, and I'll put here projects. It also, it, it knows that business is in that solution, so it's gonna show that to you, and that's the one you wanna add, so I'm just gonna do an okay. And now business is added here. So if I come here now into the window, one, and I put using, uh, it should already see that using business. Now I can actually call that class here in this project because it's visible. I won't have any problems at all. So it's important to know that because this is where a lot of people sometimes struggle with. Uh, they try to debug it and can't find a problem. Uh, and by knowing how to reference and, and how to change all, it makes it easier. So. Uh, here we go. Now, let's, let me change this name. Uh, a way of changing that window one, it would be if you just come here to public window one, or even here window one, whatever, and do a refactor. Let me go here, refactor, and I'm going to say rename. Let me call that, let's call that just uh, school. Let's call that just school. Or no, let's let's give a better name. I'm just gonna call the same way I had for the other one. It's gonna be the main. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna be the main. So it's gonna actually see everybody has that name Window One. So it will change here. You no, know, I'm not still not happy with that. Let me put here, I'm gonna put main window. I just don't wanna, don't like the name main just because it's how you call in, in a console uh, application the, the program. So I don't wanna use main. Let's just use main window. Let's change it again. Okay, change it there. Now I need to change it here as well. So if I change here in this guy here, the first one, main, main window it will change the other guy here as well oh it didn't change it should have let me see here uh, actually did something wrong in here that's why let's do it again main window dot zam okay now it should work let's see no it didn't I actually think that I, have, uh, I think I should have changed the other one first. Let me just make sure here. Window. 
let me just keep the way it was and let me change it right here and see if that's where it's going to change everything make sure 